We arrived in Uray yesterday evening and found it covered in smoke from the huge forest fire burning about 60 miles south. Uray is one of my favorite small towns in the Colorado mountains. This morning we had to detour back north to Ridgeway, then southwest to Mancos due to the closure of Highway 550 because of the fire. Today was a very special day for Jim. Within the next few miles, he would hit 250,000 official documented miles on a Harley. That's quite an achievement. He's had a lot of experiences through his life and he's not shy when it comes to talking about them because he has an uncanny ability to shake off and move forward in a situation that might affect some other person negatively for the rest of their life. Two of these stories stood out the most for me. Jim's a Vietnam veteran with the Marine Corps. He was also wounded in action there. As he told me the story of how he was wounded, my stomach felt like it was twisting in knots. But by the time he was reaching the end of that story, he had me laughing so hard the iced tea I was drinking nearly shot out my nose. The other was in 2016 when I was touring Ireland with Kevin. Jim's wife, Cindy, called to let Kevin know that he had been in a very serious accident on his bike when a semi basically ran him over. He had multiple serious injuries. When Jim told me that wasn't his first crash either, I stood there kind of stunned. If it were me, I'm not sure I'd ever climb on another motorcycle. But here he is two years later, winding down the roads in the Colorado mountains on his brand new Screaming Eagle. after we passed through the gate at Mesa Verde National Park, Jim hit the 250,000 mile mark. Jim figures he's probably closer to 750,000 unofficial, undocumented miles. <laughs> Are you gonna push me off when I turn around? <laughs> I'm not you, was he planning that? Are you gonna push me off? As I'd mentioned previously, it was a very hot and dry spring in the area, and riding down the mesa provided us with an amazing view of the fire that burned for over a month, consuming nearly 55,000 acres.
What do you do? What are you Backing in? We all usually come in sort of one way and we all face the one way, but Terry just goes, nah, screw you guys, I'm doing my own thing. As I walked out onto the dunes, well behind Kevin and Jim, I looked over to the left and there was the two of them helping an elderly lady up who was sitting under the shade of a tree. I think Kevin ran up ahead and pushed her down just so I would capture them on camera helping her up. Bishop's Castle is a one-man project started in 1969 by the owner of this property, Jim Bishop. It's an enter-at-your-own-risk tourist attraction, which was the perfect fit for Kevin. I was happy as a clam keeping my feet planted safely on the ground. Shaky up here tonight. <laughs> I gotta say, this is probably the most wackiest, weirdest thing I have ever seen. This is the best tourist attraction on the planet. After Bishop's Castle, we rode back into Westcliff to see what kind of trouble we could rustle up. 